Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's early in the morning. I just came from having a crazy interview. First and foremost, before I get started, I need you to subscribe below. Press subscribe. Press the notification bell so you get all the notifications on all the new Flip the Script. Um, I'm not here to, to talk bad about anybody. I'm just here to explain what I'm doing with this episode. Um, Flip the Script episode 99. I'm going to split in two, two full episodes. First and foremost, let me shout out Killer Cab, Mel Cross, CK, Wildcat, and Stack Stone. Salute to those brothers for coming up. Salute to those brothers for making this a memorable night. But you know, these a lot of these guys haven't seen each other in years. They came together. Um, different things was involved, uh, liquor was involved, and, um, you know, a lot of emotions and things were said that didn't need to be said, and things happened, and discussions, and arguments, and, and standing up, you're gonna hear about it, you know, or you will hear about it, um, but face to face, and it was a lot, and that's not what those brothers initially came up there to do, and I'm not gonna release that footage. No, I'm gonna put out the good parts. I'm gonna cut out parts that make my brothers, I consider them my brothers, you know, look out of order. You know what I mean? My opinion. Um, I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to disrespect nobody. Number one, first and foremost, a lot of lines were said yesterday as far as like me being a journalist. I'm not a journalist. I'm not an editor. I'm a guy from Queens, New York. I'm from the Web and Nitty era. Um, and these are the people, you know, that I understand and I know. Um, salute to them. Uh, I have no big homie. I don't like the word little homie. I'm not part of a gang. And, and, and once and for all, I don't need any gratification or any clickbait footage. I don't need to put something to make these brothers look bad. Not CK. Not Killer Cab, not Corey, not Tessie K, not Mel, not my man Wildcat, not Stacks. That's not my job. I don't need that footage. That's not where we going with Flip the Script to make anybody show niggas arguing and because they ain't come up there for that. You know, emotions got in the way because niggas is talking about something to the heart and that's what I felt. They talking about something to the heart. Even I got into it. You know what I mean? I don't have to glorify it. I don't have to elaborate. I have the footage, but I don't need to do that. Cause a lot of niggas are saying that you gonna put that or you gonna put that. I'm not a clickbait nigga. It's not me, it's not Queen's Flip. Nah, I'll put something out for the people, but I'm not doing that. You know? Shout out to my man Soul B. He opened the lane. He helped me open the lane. And I appreciate him. But shout out to these brothers that came up there and, and spread their truth. They all been honorable. They all showed love. They all made me feel comfortable. But things happen. Got a call from the landlord this morning, security footage and all that. You know, we in the middle of Soho. And I don't blame anybody, I'm not mad at anybody. You know, I, mean, I rock with everybody. My business come first. And one thing I'm not gonna do, and like my man always say, a man has nothing but his word and his honor. It would not be, regardless of what y'all heard or what y'all seen, it would not be honorable to put footage Cause I heard that yesterday, you gonna use this footage and you gonna use that footage and you gonna, I don't need that. I don't need to do that. So I'm gonna put it out in two parts. Put out the first part right now, you know what I mean? With my man, Corey K, you know, he's expressing himself and I'm gonna put out another part. You know what I mean? That's it, I'm not putting out no part with people getting into altercations or disagreements or, or this, I'm not doing that. If you wanna see that, you hit them up and ask them individually. So last time I'll be talking about this, you know what I mean? And the reason why I'm talking about this because you'll hear it because other guys, you know, they're acquainted. I'm not here to go YouTube wall because, you know, I'm in a different light. I'm just here to shine light on brothers to let them get their stories out because a lot of these brothers is talented. CK got music, Wildcat working on his thing. Shout out to Mel. Mel is a solid dude. Killer Cab, man, solid, knowledgeable. So be knowledgeable. You know what I mean? Even CK knowledgeable. These guys are knowledgeable. Stack Stone, he's doing his thing. So that's what I want to say. Whatever you hear about Queens Flip, it's cool. Well, you know, I'm from Queens. There will not be an audio for this because the audio wouldn't make sense. If I put an audio, it'll sound very choppy and cut. You know, I may put an audio, I may not. But I will put out the full episode. 
So I'm put out full episode part one, full episode part two. That's the end of 99. I want to wish all on brother, all those brothers luck. I want to salute all those brothers. You know what I mean? Flip the script. Doors is open. Um, now we're moving on and moving on to something different. I learned a lot from these brothers, man. To sit down and soak things in all the way from my man OG Nuke. To soak it in. To 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 get so much information and learn about the history of New York City, the history of the jails means a lot to me. So I'm not gonna put out, I'm gonna say this, Queens Flip will not put out any footage that make anybody look crazy. Cause that's what was said. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about, you know, CK expressing himself. I think that footage is from the heart. I'm talking about like anything else. I'm not doing that. URLTV.TV, flip the script. DJ G Money, I love you. I'm from Queens for a reason. G Money! Yo. Oh my, like, what, what, what we got today, man? I'm crazy online right are you now. You hyping these crazy <laughs> niggas in here, bro? You heard it's kind of, kind of hungry in here. It was some food, you know what I'm saying? La, la, la. <laughs> it's some food you over here. Did you? Nah, nah, yeah. Oh, right. How you doing, man? I'm sure I'm, sure I'm good. The last couple of episodes have been classic, man. So yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. that participated, we all on a flip the script, man. We got a, we got a back. letter. Again? You know, top 300. You know what I'm saying? The world right now it's podcast. Right now, <laughs> Why you need to get on my level with all due respect? But I mm. do want y'all to win. Because it's food for everybody. <laughs> Who food? I yeah. ain't food. And they you said, sure? never show your plate to a nigga that's hungry. Mm. <laughs> I don't show my plate to a nigga that's hungry. I share, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Is everybody can eat behind everybody? You good? I'm good, grinding. You know what I'm saying? It came from a gig just now. How was that? Got caught in the rain, but it was all good though. Silent, silent, yeah. It, it got caught in the rain. Got outside. In the rain. Facts, outside yeah. joint. Yeah. Hall Okay, okay, okay. It's crazy. Get, get into the back though, you know what I'm saying? Every Thursday. Every Thursday, Tipsy Tomato. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's going good. We got a comedy show actually next, next Thursday. Comedy show. Shout out to Omar the Comedian. Shout out to uh, Joe Show. We're going to do a comedy night next week, Thursday. So. Big up to Omar. Omar. I know Omar. Omar's hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we, we ain't get to you yet, man. <laughs> and also, yo, yo, man, put your phone down, man. Please. All right, bye bye bye, 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 bye. silent, man. Bye, 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 bye. We ain't get to this. Paul, we, our guest right now is my turned bad, up, man. My bad. And shout out to our guest, though, man. But you mm, good, though. Everything good. How you feeling? I feel. I don't feel too comfortable right now. Nah, man. I feel yeah. comfortable. I'm good. Yeah, well, I, I don't. I don't. They said I'm I, good. I feel comfortable because my man here, my man, my man, one of my man here, one of my favorite people here. Listen, we'll get man. to him in a little bit. I walked in, all the homies said I was good, so I'm good. I feel comfortable. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They said, I, they said I'm straight. Hold me down, nah, I'm not homie. I'm still, I'm still fool. I'm still fool. I'm still fool. <laughs> but I'm good though. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but you know, I feel good though, man. Yeah. 99 episodes, man. Wow. 99 episodes. Blah, 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 blah. Feel good? That's, that's an escalate. That's an escalate. We're gonna start. Yeah. G Money! <laughs> Yo. Episode motherfucking 99. Nigga, we, we made, made it. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh shit! Nah, like yo, yo. So let's start with you. Tell people who you are, man. CK, I know you, CK Corey King, but introduce yourself to the people. Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's the people's champ, one. homie. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, Corey King, aka Got That Fool, aka. Mr. E. Rick and Killer, a.k.a. Mm. Who That Be, a.k.a. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> never forget, homie. Never who that, never forget. Mm. <laughs> Hot one. Next. Yo. Mm. Um, Talking that, Mike. <clears throat> All right, what's up? I'm Stack Stone. Um, Bloodstone villain. Rocks in the air, baby. Mm, respect. Mm. respect. What we got here, man? You know what I'm saying? Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the highest rank of facts. Or the you. What does the you mean? Only person higher than me right now is Hellraiser. He got that by default because at the end of the day it was a, a discrepancy. Mm-hmm. Under me, it has to be Wildcat, Mel Cross, Killer Cav. I'm dealing with people who put the work in. Mm-hmm. Understand what I'm saying? What, can, you, can you describe what the U is? What the is U the U? is UBN, United UBN. Blood Nation. Okay. Before that, before that NYB, New York Bloods. Mm-hmm. After that, non trade gangsters. What what made you come up? Like who came up with it? Because I heard the first blood set in New York was what? Non Trey. Non Trey gangsters. So now all day. But who? hold up, hold up, hold yeah. up. Before that, we was under L gang and Blood gang, bro. It wasn't no sets. Negative. At all. Talking to when Absolutely. I point. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm talking to Mike. It was no. It was no. Absolutely. It wasn't no Negative. first five Negative. sets. Uh. It, it was, was all L gang, blood gang, non trading no even. Gang, you still, you just throw on the bandana nah, and make sure you no eat L a gang, nigga who's food and you Dang good. Nah, negative, bro. No L gang, none of that. Blood, son. You must friend, bro. You negative. Nah, no we way. We were talking nah, that. That's, no, that's, negative. That's, 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 that's no a double way. Way. In the beginning, we had no cold. I'm knocking you out. We had. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let that call be finished, but. At the end That's of the day, the end day we ain't had no cold stack. No, no, no. He's not that fuck. That's why he real right. I watch him eat movies, all that. That's not what it is, right? He gangster. Mm-hmm. I watch him put work in. By the end of the day, whatever, right, beloved? Before that, homie, we only had NYB. Peace, blood. Peace, Almighty. Man. Blood up. That's don't three calls right there. Peace, blood. Peace, Almighty. Peace, blood. All right? After that, kill the calf. Mark Cross, they gave us the non trade gangster who was sanctioned by Scarface. Mm-hmm. Cool. Sanctioned by OG Mac. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't get it twisted. I'm going to always respect OG get, Mac for what he gave us. Why? At a time and a place when nobody was defending the black race, the black people, niggas was just modest and killing us. In the, in, the, in the penitentiary. So we stood up against the injustice, arbitrated and perpetrated against our kind, the black but, skin. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? You know what I'm Cat. saying? I'm listening to you, Cat. Talk. We, we, we had our rep before that. You know what I'm saying? So Talk. some was on Preach. some, some OG Mac, basically he was on some like, like a, like a, like a nigga in baseball. You know what I'm saying? He looking for a free agent. You know what I'm saying? That's what we were. Facts. We were niggas that was getting busy, that was tearing niggas' heads off, but we were free agents. Cause we wasn't down with nothing. That's right. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to get your shit straight, you want to get your shit strong, you want to get the strongest niggas on the island that's ringing bells. That's right. Because if you get them niggas, it doesn't matter how many niggas, it could be 3,000 niggas on the island. Them 10 niggas going to twist them, them 10,000 niggas. Now, don't you want like right the there. 300. Don't you like want the movie Cat. 300. Cat. Right, right. Cat, don't you want? The what war did we was do? the war. What did we do, Cross? The war was even won before, you know, um, it was even fought because, you know, it's people's reputation. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, every time a cold came out, a new cold came out, or whatever the case may be, and I come across, let's say I come across CK, that's my big homie. That's one of my big homies. Shout out to Lacey, whatever the case may be. That's Love one you, of my Lacey. big homies. You know what I'm saying? And let's say uh, it's a situation where, you know, he'd be in my presence and he'd be like, yeah, um, and he'd say a certain cold. If I don't know what he's talking about, that means that I ain't been putting my work in doing what I have to do. So, right. therefore, you know what I'm saying? I'm exposed now because it's like, all right, everybody know, you know, we were so small at the time that, you know, everybody knew who they was by what they knew. So, if he come with me with some new codes or whatever the case may be, and I don't know what I know, then that means I ain't put in work in a few days or Facts. I ain't putting in work in so, you know what I'm saying? Because we pride ourselves on that. You know, the, you know, because um, we bang to where is that on a level to where the point was that you know um, when you mention your set, you want to be one of the first names that's mentioned out of anybody's mouth, yeah. claiming Man. that set. You know what I'm saying? And that's it what it was. It was a whole that. bunch of monsters, a whole bunch of animals around you. It was so, moving mad fast. I want, I, I want to defend you right there quick. It was moving mad no, fast, but no, you no, couldn't no, catch up. You. Hold on, hold on. No, you, you couldn't right catch now. up with the history. Like, if you were put in work, you will move. And then you got to, you know what I'm saying, you got to find out where your history coming from. You know what I'm saying? Because when you put in that work, 
like to be honest with you, I didn't even know I was blood because when he came to the building, Hellraiser came to the building, C95, when you hear their names in the building, if you in another house, I was in 16 upper. You know what I'm saying? So if you in another house and you hear alarms going off and then automatic, you knowing, yo, it come through Kev putting in work or Hellraiser putting in work. And then you put in work. And then everybody, they switch you, they switch you to a different house. They wasn't automatically taking you to the bing. You know what I'm saying? And then like in 96, what, 96? That's when they built the pound. Like everybody was coming from <coughs> HDM. HDM going to the pound. And then they built the pound. that pound specifically for us. Then when you got to the pound, it was like college, like blood college. Hmm. Like you were, you were, the roll call was like epic, bro. You would hear the whole building shaking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it, it felt like to me when I used to see, when, in, in hindsight, looking back at it, I didn't even believe I was living in that type of environment. Everybody mm -hmm. coming out and change. Everybody got mittens on. Then you got the predicates, the predicate slashes. And then the handcuffs keys came out because you had some Ericots that was Latin Kings that was putting us in pens with population. Fast. You know what I'm saying? Fast. So I had my fat ass at that time had to learn how to come from out of my cuffs from the back to the front, spit the key out like some Houdini shit. I didn't believe I was doing that shit. Fast. And mm -hmm. by the time... You had to do it quick because by the time they was loading those ops in the pen with you, you had to be decuffed, de shackled, and all that. You know what I'm saying? By the time and they was ready to go. Whoa. By the time they was ready to go, you had to be locked and loaded. And I kept Whoa. my motherfucking dental floss on my shit. You know what I'm saying? So it could yank right out my ass. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I used to keep the dental floss hanging right outside out. my, my pants. So as soon as I could yank it, it's coming out. Bam! You know what I'm saying? Off my cap. And we all had shit that did detect. Metal detectors and all that. Some niggas was getting scalpels. You know what I'm saying? When it when the game got up, it was getting boxes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, so so <clears throat> being that all y'all here right now, let, let's talk about if y'all remember like your first time meeting each other. You know what I'm saying? Like when was your first time meeting Wildcat? First time seeing yeah, him? answer that. <laughs> yo, yo, why you want, why you want to answer that? <laughs> up top, okay, my nigga. I can't answer that, nigga. Her, an epic story. Herc, epic, you. epic, Herkin and lurking, my nigga. Look. <laughs> I was banging as you know what you know, you know, CK do I bang nigga. Every day, Sunday, Monday, my birthday, it's a bang day, cause I'm blood to the bone, nigga. I love blood more than I love my family, homie. Yeah. For everything. Mm. I'm, more, I'm in the crowd mostly right now. Why? Cause my bro is here right now. Yo, I was coming from court. Had about maybe 20, 30 Latin King bees on, number 10. And he had that beard. Yeah, you see me see the tears, nigga. His blood selling the tears yeah, on his bro. I ain't so B. I love so B. I blood so B in '96, homie. In Sing Sing. I love you, beloved. But you ain't keeping 100. At the end of the day, homie. It's yeah, see day. the tears in my eyes, homie. It's for real, homie. I was being jumped by seven Latin kings, homie. The two Nietas. That's nine people. He was in the bathroom. I don't know what he was doing. I came in the pen. I just knew I was blood and I had to put it in there. I couldn't say I ain't going in the pen. Wildcat was in there. So I came in the gate right there, cat. Popped it off. Popped it off. Blood rule. I popped it off. I ain't know this dude, man. The homie popped it off. Niggas had a couple ice picks, a couple razors. But the, the Spanish police put them in the pen with me, bro. Yeah, they was doing that all day. Put it in the pen. Look at my look at the tear, bro. This is for real, homie. Yeah, I this see. This is real. No, no game, no games being told, bro. And I held the motion back. It's my baby right here. I, he came with a couple of blood because of me. So be blood because of me. Because of me, uni, raw blow, Robert Tucker. Because of me. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I was blood, I came non trade because of him. So there's emotion involved in this room right now. My drop, I'm his drop on the non trade though. Killing cat. You know what I'm saying? So there's emotion in here. It's OG Mad Drop, it's my drop. After all that, we had a conversation. Hey, I ain't blow him, he ain't blow me. Because the protocol is what it is on the blood. Nigga, Fine. fuck with Mac did. Fuck with people that before me, homie. That's my drop on every day. That's why I see me crying right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is for my life. 
This is my life. I'm, I'm better than I'm 80 years old. Wow. It's not going to die, homie. Right. And I remember my when he went through. Up. He my went big through a homie, lot, man. Kill the cat. My big homie. Right. I was blood before him. But when he came blood, he had the oath down tray before me. And I fell under him. You know why? A owner, a leader, is only as good as his last bounce. But a true leader is a good soldier. Mm. I became his soldier. Me, Shaquel, excuse me, bro. Me, Shaquel, Ring Dog, Chop, Shabazz. We all fell under Killer Cab, my nigga. These tears is because of the pain that we put in on the blood, bro. Yeah. This nigga right here, homie. He got hit high head. They had his sneakers in the back house, bath house. This man. This nigga right here caught a new bit over me. Where your paperwork at? A new yeah. bit over me, bro. Right here, right here. We lost a lot. I had a two to life, two years. I did 15, homie, because of blood. So understand what's going on right now. Yeah. Nobody that's so big, but homie, and at, at this point right now, my nigga, this honorable. The brother right here, Tigons, yeah. Dick Wolf. When your niggas didn't bang, when I exp I exposed OG Mac. Who exposed OG Mac, blood? You did, bro. Single handed. Nobody helped me. I did that. And that's when they turned to him. But that's why I be saying, like, yeah. that's that's why I be saying, OG Mac, my nigga. Yo, bro. Not because I was a bitch. Yo, bro. I killed the shooter. Benji. Say it again. Benji. Put that boy in a coma for three weeks. We was on Elmira together. Yeah. We turned Elmira out. What I'm we saying, turned Ebby Max out. Look at my tears, bro. Ebby Max for real, out, homie. Man. I ain't no Fugazi nigga. Wow. I've been holding the story. You got it now, Flip. That's how I've been playing with you, homie. That was my emotion making me laugh and joke, homie. Look at blood. This is blood right here, homie. Yo, that was some first hard generation. shit that happened with him, though. First, first oh. generation. First generation, homie. Wow. I'm, I'm crying right now, man. But it's tears of joy, you know what? We alive. We came home, bro. I know why he's so emotional, though. Yeah, we came I was, home, bro. I was with him in Elmira. We home, we free. When he was going through that shit. Yeah. You know but saying? we gonna get to that, but yeah. I yeah. wanna know about Wildcat. I'm it, gonna tell you. Tell a story, bring Look, us to that day. I came in the pen, had about 20 Latin King beads on, 10 Yedda beads. You know where you get them beads from? And a few Muslim beads. The chapel. The chapel. And a, and a few Muslim beads. They went against us, bro. And I was old. Yeah, the Muslims went against us. I was focused, nigga. Death to all those who go against blood. Am I lying, y'all? Shout out Death to my homie Hamo, man. Shout Hamo. out to G. Sean Hamo, Look, man. Hamo, here for our rock rate. Right. Listen to me. Death to all those who go against blood, nigga. You know what I mean? When I ride, nigga, I ride the fire with pride and speak the tongues of my homie. Am I lying, y'all? No. At the end of the day, homie, I got to write it down. I got to read it, homie. This is the better than my flesh, homie. I got stab wounds in my body, my nigga, for this shit, homie. Wow. That's what we do, homie. I've been on Don't operating let me take tables, my homie, up, bro. with my lung <laughs> I got my punctured, stomach my nigga. Too big. That's what we do, homie. Word. Let me it down. I ain't big on soul beat, but homie, pay homage to your big homie. I blooded you in, nigga. You ain't never did what we did, homie. You mm. came in 96, homie. 9-3, mm. 9-4, yeah, yeah. 9-5. It was all us. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Do that. Nah, fuck all that. Okay, don't do that. No, stop. The game is what it is. But we ain't trying to go there with it. Guess what? You need to talk about this room. This is this is raw. He did the raw. He did the raw. He did the raw. He did the raw. This is raw right here. I'm gonna say something, wrong, homie. Say CK done. I'm a 31. At the end of the day, homie, we love you, my lover. I will never violate you, homie. Cause I looked at you as a kid. That niggas broke together. That's why I'm saying that. I don't care about that, homie. This is blood, though. At the end of the day, homie, I looked up to you, homie. Be original, but in the blood, you so be. You know what that mean? You like 8th, 9th, 10th, behind all these niggas right here, homie. Pay homage, bro. I don't care what Jock tell you. Jock my big homie, too, but guess what, though? I got beat up Jock, by Jock. Jock right, man. That's my boy, yeah, man. Jock, Jock from Queens? Rise up. Yeah, Jock, yeah. Rise up. Me and Jock was in ACM guess what back the problem in is, though? The problem is, though. Got that little so be out anybody out, been anybody around big gears who man, cut Jock and nobody rolled but me. I got beat up by big gears, homie. I did that. Because it ain't about all our wins, but our losses too. That's a fact. Big yeah. gears say, yo, CK, I'm not going to cut you. You know why? Because you're the only nigga who challenged me behind this guy. So yeah, Jock, rise up. We don't support each other. 
I bled behind you, nigga. Nigga, I had my eye closed, nigga, behind you, bro. So you rise up, nigga. At the end of the day, homie, yeah, I, I put it in, homie. This shit, pain is pain is real, homie. These tears is real, homie. And my gun game is up. In any category, on Rikers Island, up north, in the mountain, Attica, Clinton, Comstock, Sing Sing, Elmira, nigga. That's what we do, homie. Then the big homie and the big homie and the big homie is talking right now, homie. These are my drops, but these are my big homies too, homie. It's nobody bigger than blood, homie. On everything in life. So I'm not bigger than him. 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 They can pay homage, my boy. You and your wife, pay homage, homie. Wait, 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 hold on. Why you, what, you don't like what Soul B said? What did he say? That because he said he's the big homie, big homie. He can't be the big homie, big homie. I blooded you in 96. They've been banging me for 96. Everybody in the room been banging for 96. Him too, homie. The first yeah. stone, the first stone clan was Warrior Clan. Man doing Hitman, homie. Am I lying, Wildcat? Right. Three block Bing. Warrior. Yeah, yeah homie. Man, dude, that's my man, too. That's what I went out to Nigga, the Nigga, Killer was the one B, on. homie. We was in three block, me and Wildcat, right. with Hitman and Man Do Warrior Clan, homie. It's just CK, homie. Man that dude, nigga, dude, homie. Life. He got triple life sentence. Facts you. Facts you, homie. Because he caught a multiple homicide. In Harlem. In Harlem. So don't get it twisted, homie. It's just CK you talking to now, homie. Said Quare can't talk, you can't talk, and nobody else. R.I.P. S.I. Uh, and outside of that, that, my nigga, uh, outside of that, my nigga, dust. yo, we're scared uh, of OG Valentine. Mac. Scott I exposed OG uh, Mac, my nigga, the people's champ. I'm the people's champ. Ask my little bros. But they big homies. This way. They my little brothers, but they big homies. He's the big homie. He make a call. I got to respect. I got to check in with him. I go to the Bronx. I got to say, yo, Mel Cross, I'm in the Bronx, beloved, right. on such and such block, blah, 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 blah. Yo, wild crack. I'm in Kings, I'm, I'm, I'm in Queens, even Long Island, blah, 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 blah. Yo, hey, Cam, I'm in Brownville, I'm blah, 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 blah. Hey, yo, Stack, I'm in Crown Heights, I'm blah, blah, blah. Hey, yo, look, um, Ring Dog, Ring Dog came home because of me. I gave him a prescribe. This is why you see a whole Crown Heights blooded out, Albany Projects. Rest in peace, Ring Dog. Ringy. Look, that was my prescribed law, homie. He got killed in Queens. Everything. The history you know it now. 15, 15 books read a month. Um, Noble Drew Ali, um, 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 George Jackson, Jonathan Jackson, um, Johnny Spain, Johnny Spain, um, Blooders, Blooders Black Panthers, Black Martin Luther Man, King, Malcolm X. It all came from this right here, bro. I when I ain't do it, Shaquille did it. When I ain't do it, oh, Pimp do it. Jackson Let's be real now. This is what it's called the awakening session. This is why I bought. All the real rights up top. You know why? Double R will always shine above all. You can say what you want to say, my nigga. But guess what? <laughs> Got that fool. So on, wait. On so everything. Wait. Blood, blood rule. What, what did what did so Everything be, blood rule. CK, pardon me. What does so be say wrong in your opinion? Because I don't think he said anything wrong. So now you tell me. You know what, what happened, beloved? Wait, tell me between the lines that I missed. You know what you missed, beloved? Tell me. So B came home. So B couldn't come home without me, bro. He had an open date with no address. I went up to, to see him, homie. I went to go see him, homie. Continue to go see him. I got photos. Prove it, homie. But do you want to, like, switch? Because that's no, a little personal. No, yeah, no, you demolishing the dude, bro. Come on, up, man. That's, we ain't come here to do that, bro. No, nah, we ain't nah, demolishing. Listen, we ain't come here to do that. I'm giving the fact, bro. I'm giving the fact. Hold up. Right there, man. Let me put some perspective. Let me put some perspective. He was living with me and my bread. CK, I got you. And my bread. It's personal. They need to talk about that off air, bro. They brothers, bro. Nah, no. They love each other. They love each other. I love them. I ain't demolishing them. I'm giving the fact, you know why? He around Bimmy and Jack and them and forgot what the fuck he even flat. That's what it really is, man. 21 in the... He started uh, fucking with the Queens bro. niggas. And, come on. 21st in the crash, castle, my nigga. You wouldn't call it Jack and East Scarface. Excuse me, brother, beloved. You wouldn't call it Jack and Scarface for the Bamas dressed to impress. Dressed to impress to come holler at me. About money to have for you. All right, come on, come on, CK. No, CK. no, no, bro. I'm That's tired, bro. CK. It got to come out right now, bro. About money I have for you. And when your money was on deck, and you got your money in your hand, and you try to hook, Jack grabbed you, I grabbed you, and just you transgressing. You went up north, you came home, 
and you still fail to call me, you with Jacqueline right now, running around with them, and once again, it's the same program, beloved. I showed you honor. I blooded you in, so therefore you became my responsibility, like my child, bro. Oh, come on. CK, no, CK, it's CK. real, homie. See, I this love is you. blood, CK. homie. Yo, yo, no, no, no. This is blood. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, bro. I don't give a bro, bro, bro. fuck. This is my platform, homie. It's like you're putting them down, man. I'm not putting them down. But I love them. But your queen flip, hold up. I love them, At the end of the day, at the end of the day. Check in, beloved. In his in his interview, yeah, he brought people down as well. Can yeah, you, can you, but he ain't named no names, though. Whoa, 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 can you point that out? Can you point that out to me what I missed? Because when he spoke about each individual, he talked about niggas highly. Him, you. You, yeah. with all he said, he got. He said, "Y'all haven't spoke." He me, you, the only thing he, he mentioned me, you though. privately Don't to me. Flip. I'm talking about privately. Well, nigga, they... my mother asked for him. My mother said, "Yo, where's Stacy at? Where's Bo at?" Stacey. My mother asked him to this day, my nigga. Let me talk. You ain't calling me, my nigga. Hold on, hold on. Before you talk, but you were stuck in jail without me. Before you talk, let me hear what my line, beloved. You were stuck in jail without me, though. Yo, yo, bro, 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 bro. I'm getting football bro. jacked on my ass. Bro, you were stuck in jail without me, though. I came and got you. You'll see. Oh, that's my bad. 31. Let me get it for a minute. Let me get it for a minute, right? Can you help me understand yeah, what I missed? Because like he talked good about everybody to me privately. I don't know what he said on camera that niggas is misconstruing. I heard people say it. Nah, Hold on, wait. Let me finish. I heard people it's say, yo, flip, you missed it. Right I don't, I'm not blunt. I don't understand. So I would like somebody to explain to me because so be has been honorable to me. He's I talked to both of them oh, off bro, camera. And I salute bro, bro, so B. That's my man. Talk, man. He told Holly about him. He told Holly about him. He just said, y'all not talking. He ain't getting any detail. He don't want to get into detail of me about you. Though, Hold on. I love that dude. He told Holly about you. He told So now I, I, I want to understand where Yo, is this man. Where is this, this coming is... from. Let me speak to him. I want to know. All right. Who... It's like this, right? Um. You you you, you share your story. You you share your story about what's going on, right? So you make a comment, you, you okay, make certain comments, you know, um, that's, that's going to trigger certain people. So your comment was that, um, you know, it's because I was blood. Yeah. It's because that, you know, um, I got Doing cut is what triggered blood. And that Scully nah, is bro. my little homie, right? Listen. And, um, you know, that's my little homie. And mm -hmm. because I got cut, it would spark everything. Mm -hmm. So now you're praising yourself on the fact that you got cut. Back. So now let's let's think about it, right? If I'm a respectable individual and I have a reputation and I'm putting in this work and I got this handle, you know, this, this reputation again, it wouldn't the the the, op, the the opposition wouldn't feel comfortable doing anything to me, period, right? Let alone saying that because of what they did to me sparked the movement that changed the whole face of the East Coast, New York, whatever came be. It's blasphemy because the simple fact is, let's speak about Max's situation. We ain't got to go too many places. Let's speak about Max's situation. Facts. That happened in C C C C73 a year or so later. That I was there for. That ain't have nothing to do with so be getting cut. Which sparked the blood movement and he elected himself leader and you know and everybody collectively you know put the put the put the lessons together you know and it was distributed you know saying amongst you know how it's supposed to be distributed amongst the people that originated you know the lessons or whatever the With case me may be being the first five and yeah, him being you know him being under somebody else mm -hmm. right what what is you saying you saying that because that's being that could be looked at as all oh, right so it took for me to get cut. So because I'm this honorable, this respectable gangster that, because I got victimized, motherfuckers raised up. So what happened to everybody else that got victimized? What you saying that us as a whole, as black people, is pussy or that we did not raise up? And then he gave props to the lions, which is not fact. And then you saying that, and then you saying that they was blood. Scully was not about. blood, and Scully is not is not his little homie, mm -hmm. by any means, by any means. You know what I'm saying? Know him, we want to shout out to Scully and all that. Yeah, yeah. Scully is his shout little homie Scully. by no means, by no means Scully at all. We had a we had a at mental all. set at talking one time. Mic, talking to Mike. We had a let, let me just you address the mic. If you all right, let me just address let me address the situation with with these two dudes. Let me tell you their history first. 
first of all, they history go back to Flatbush before blood. You feel oh, me? Analyze, so hold on, hold on. So uh, let me speak, beloved. Let me speak. Let me speak. Okay, that's I'm gonna use the key words. Important. I idolize not so B, Stacy Knight, aka Stacy Knight, the original. I idolize him. He's my when idol. he was a guard body, yeah. he was that dude in Flatbush. So CK looked up to him. So I idolize when him. this when this Damu thing he came around, guard. my thing is this, man. Like some things ain't for the public, man. Like families, we have fights. We have mm -hmm. fights in the locker room. Okay. We don't got to bring it to the, the, the auditorium. You okay. feel me? Like, I've never been a politic dude. Even dudes know when I was in them walls. That's why I love being stoned. Because it was 31 of us. I had to deal with that shit. You feel me? I don't like dealing with that. Mm -hmm. If we got issues, let's go in, in the bathroom, lock ass, then come back out. We ain't got to go to the knives or the guns. If it's love, it's real blood love. You know what I'm saying? They got personal issues, man. Understood. They got a personal issue. Now, did I agree with what he said? No, hell fucking no. That's what got Killer upset. You know what I'm saying? And it got everybody upset because it was the truth. Was It wasn't the truth. And then I don't know why he did that. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I'm thinking we ain't come up here to assassinate the dude. We came up here to do us. Even though he did, he said some shit that he wasn't really supposed to say. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me finish here. But basically, so you know I'm not. No, no, CK, and then y'all, CK, I'm gonna tell you, CK got more emotion in this shit because of what a lot of shit that transpired with the politics, bro. I hate politics. Okay. I hate politics. Even that, even that, look how you are for a minute, so you know. CK, a lot of CK issues come from the fact that, you know, um, <coughs> he was the only one that had the nuts, you know, to, um, you know, you got a lot of people that sit here and say that, yo, they kick OG Mac out the whip and all that. Niggas ain't kick nobody out of no, no whip. You. We, we gonna keep it official. Niggas ain't kick OG Mac about nothing. You know what I'm saying? When he was in the system and everything, he ruled shit with an iron fist. Even, you know after, what I'm saying? even after you guys found out that he told No. At, but listen, when dudes found out about it, he was, he the, was out the system. One that disclosed what was going on. Everybody else remained quiet. And they flipped on him. And fell in line and flipped on him. They flipped on him. That's where his pain come from. Okay. Yeah, that's why he's like that. He's, you understand what I'm got saying? It. Now, hold on. Let's slow that. All right, so let's wrap it up as far as the beat. So, 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 so B, because he proclaimed himself the big homie of the real big homies, you trying to say that there's holes in the story. Because he told us, you know, the story that he said, a lot of people uh, vouched for his story, said that he was a guy that was putting in work on uh, Wildcat. What you guys say? He was a, a lot of people that could have vouched for it could have been dudes that were just riding them, whatever the case may be. But when you got people that was on the front front line, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, me, Mel Cross, you know, the, the, you know one of the original five nine brims or whatever, you know, um, you know, I've been putting in work forever. So you I trying to say you never heard way. of So Be putting in you know work? You know what I'm saying? No, I heard of So Be putting, well, in, put work. putting in work. He what I'm saying is so I'm he's misleading when yeah. he's saying, first of all, why would I glamorize me getting cut? Got it. You know what I'm saying? I get your point. Because at the end of the day, don't get me wrong, for some people, as gangsters, whatever, your scars is also a badge of honor because simple fact that I've been to war, I've been battle tested. Okay. Granted, that's one thing to say that, but that's one thing to say here and say, well, because I got cut or whatever the case may be is the reason why... Everything happened. I see what you're saying. Blood and everything happened. Let me, uh, he made it about him. Got it. Mm -hmm. What you got to say about that, Walker? I mean, the Talk way to the mic, Walker, crazy. please. I mean, the way I look at it basically is you get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? And back then it was like, you know, I mean, like what he was saying with OG Mac is the way we look at it was mad different because we was in the bay. We come from the Bing. Yeah, we box saying? babies. We box babies. You know what I'm saying? Like Scully, me, Shower, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. That means we were banging against yeah. the police. Yeah, we was banging so much that they kept us isolated. Scully all on my phone, homie. Look. Hold on, hold on. on my post. Let him get this interview off. Yeah. yeah. He was never blood. He was yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, blood. tell Scully, I said, what up, man? That's my Yeah, boy, I got him dude. on my shit, too. Oh, um, time, basically, yeah. it was yeah. like, yeah, Nikki's is rapping. So... In order, in order to survive in prison, you gotta have that rep where ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. Because if you don't have that rep, then you gotta eat somebody's food all the time. 
And the way right. dudes are nowadays is you eat their food, they telling on you, they making sure that you getting more time. Like basically, right. that's why I bought these paperwork in. You know what I'm saying? This right here, I caught this right here because of him. Me. You know what I'm saying? Tell us what happened. Basically, I was in the bullpen, you know what I'm saying? I had, I was on the run for two bodies, you know what I'm saying? In Queens, in Astoria oh, Projects. Yeah, Whose phone that. is on? That's your phone, Wildcat? Nah, nah. nah. I'm going to say this right here, yeah, look. That's my phone. That's look. my phone. I'm going to say this right here, look. Look. Hold on, let me tell the story. No, no, no. Hey, right. no, no. I'm going to say two words. Listen. Listen. I, listen. I didn't deny, I didn't deny going to the pen. Except to put in the pen with Matt, Latin King, the others. I didn't deny it. Now you can finish it. Yeah, you basically. In the blood, you can't deny going nowhere. Yeah. Go. Yeah, so basically, yeah. you know, I was yeah. on the run with two a, bodies. Yeah. I was on the run for actually two bodies in one attempt. You know what I'm saying? I shot three people in the projects, in the story of projects. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, It should have been a self defense case. It didn't turn out that way because I had an upper hand. You know how it goes. The justice system is not going to help you out. Mm -hmm. The justice system is you get the upper hand. No matter if you right or wrong, they're going to do you dirty like you was a bad guy. Exactly. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Um, so I came through, and when I came through, I already been doing the jail shit since Spofford. To Spofford, I was doing the jail shit, you know what I mean? So when I came through, I had to be prepared. So I have came through, and I had razors and black tape and all that. I had to cheat, you know what I'm saying? So when I came through, now I got to prepare it, because I know they're going to send me to the bing. They're not going to put me in Pop Dog. They ain't stupid. And once they see my name, they're like, uh-uh, you going to the bing. You know what I'm saying? Cause they know if I go to Pop Dog, I'm telling hey, I'm eating food. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Because there's no reason for me to be in Pop Dog and I'm claiming blood, my nigga. It's war. You can't mm -hmm. be out You know out what I'm there. saying? I'm going to Pop Dog, my nigga. If you eat Ricky, my nigga, you fool, I'm 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 eating your food. You heard? That's it. I'm not gonna go in the crib and be like, well, I didn't see him. I, nigga, they ain't no motherfucking excuse. You come in the crib, my nigga, you gotta eat that nigga food. Eat his food. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's that. There's no excuse for that. Okay. So, um, basically, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, when I was coming up, it was like, you had Scully. Like, they talk about Scully. That's my yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Scully's my man. Shower, rest in peace. His yeah, co-defendant, that was my man too. Mm -hmm. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And everybody is pushing a movement. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because at the time, there's so much oppression going on, everybody's pushing a movement. The Jamaicans are pushing a movement. The black people is pushing a movement, even though we were all black. Mm -hmm. But everybody's pushing it to their own uh, uh, resignation, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like if I'm Indian, I'm going with my Indian niggas, but we got the same goal as, as the black niggas, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Okay, so it's like when I came through, you know, I'm not gonna like uh, you know, I wasn't raised around Spanish people at all. My, my, my parents is Dominican, but I wasn't raised around Dominican, I was raised around straight black. My so he, hood was like, he honorary nigga. you know what I'm saying? Basically, <laughs> yeah. Right. I went to 226, I went to uh, Thomas Jefferson. Oh, he went and, to Jeff right in East you know, New York, yeah. Alabama's. And, and I had the case yeah. where his son shot the nigga and, and shit, so I went to Spalford for that. You know, me and Thomas Jefferson, they got popped or whatever. They had me in Spalford for that. And then, that was in the book of jail. Yeah, right. that was yeah. I did have me in so, for that. So, so tell us a story about that day. What you remember? Like, like, I want to. We yeah. got to get that day. What you was doing that day when you saw him get jumped? One tell the, us. I, well, well I life. came in. I, 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 they, they finally got me. The police finally caught up to me. Okay. Because what happened was I blew a nigga head off in the street. Okay. And I thought the nigga was thorough, but he wasn't thorough. He called the police. So when he called the police, next thing you know, I'm on the run. They couldn't catch me. Mm -hmm. But then I got cornered in somebody's garage and shit, and they finally got me. And he was in the back of the ambulance. And he was like, he cut me. I right, bet. I'm done. So when I come through, I come through and shit. And um, now I'm in the bullpen, and I got I got three three rug cutters. So I'm going to pull one out. So I, I use it, and I'm going to take the other two, and I'm going to boof it. You know what I mean? So... I'm in the bathroom, I'm doing the black tape and all that. I'm preparing it, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that it goes through the metal detector and I see sun come in, right? But I'm in the bathroom, I'm like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta boof these two other joints up, right? But like, what's popping over here? You know what I'm saying? It looks kinda exciting, you know what I mean? So he comes in the bullpen, you know what I'm saying? And when he comes in the bullpen, they put five other, six other niggas in there with him. 
One nigga's taking his belt off. Two These years, niggas is jumping on top of the, the bench. Right. I'm like, and I'm looking from the bathroom. I'm like, Yo, hold up, what the fuck's going yeah, on in here? Belt, yeah. Nah, this shit ain't looking right. You know what I'm saying? So I already had the rug out. So when I saw him, he's fighting over with like seven, eight niggas. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. We ain't doing that. We're going we gonna to try to right. even up the side a little bit. So I caught the first nigga, grabbed him by his head, took the razor, bang, and I ate his food. You know what I mean? And from what they say here, it was 72 stitches. I mean, th this is one yeah, of my... This is one of my Lisa ones. Because most... Most of the time, I give a nigga a Got buck a fifty and better. Too, I, I try to cut wow. a nigga down to his ass crack where the razor ain't going no more. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to slide into his asshole. You know oh, tell mean? him you got to go to the Bronx when you catch a case in Rackers Island. You yeah. go to the Bronx. So what Fact. they did was they sent me to court. You know what I'm saying? Because now I got a new charge because I was protecting him. Yeah, yeah. Because they was jumping him. All you know what day. I'm saying? All so when you, when you go to court, they on some shit like, did you do it or did he do it? And I'm like, oh, now you put me in a position where if I don't implicate him, I'm implicating me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to implicate him because he got look. away with it. Look. You know what I'm saying? Look. 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 That's coming from look. a Spanish brother. Look. So, look. so at the end. Let me help you My back for that. Let me help you out. Listen, when I come in the bullpen, right, I got like 20 Latin King B's on, 10 E at that B's. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's big wild. I, was, I ain't going to lie. Right now, I'm calm. I was psychological. I was dumb then. I was on anything moving. If you not with us, you fool, we eating you. Boom. But when I came in, the niggas was like, yo, yo, do me away. Sangre, sangre. Sangre, sangre. Blood. Sangre, sangre. Sangria for y'all. But sangre, hmm. sangre. I pull in, boom. So they're gonna pay. Yo, wepa, wepa. Yo. I'm like, yo, I'm coming. Hold on, homie. So I came in the pen. I see him, but I don't see him. Boom, but the point I'm making is, right, I ain't see cat with my hand down, all right? Look, I ain't see cat. My point is, though, niggas called me out. Yo, sangre, wepa, all type of crazy shit. I look, I said, I hold on, hold on, a couple of cups coming off. I came in the pen, the first thing I ate him. Boom. And he said, the nigga with the belt, going crazy on top, I grabbed him, ate him. Boom, he fits everybody else off. Cat fits everybody. I ain't gonna front. What he gotta do? I said, my nigga, you blood on everything. He went back to 1B. I said, yo, that nigga blood. I said, the way no. I said, wait no. He blood. Gangster. They was just jumping me. Boom, 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 boom. Cat Valley on everything. You know what I'm the saying? Paperwork say he mm. caused 72 stitches. Yeah, Cat finish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 so, <laughs> I mean, I ate, I ate some food. I caught his artery on the head or whatever, so he saw squirting blood like a hose. Like, Facts. the blood was coming out like... Out the cell, so when it was going flying through the the bars, it was land. The blood was landing on the floor. So I'm over like, damn, my nigga, like, damn. I, either he gotta die soon, or I don't know what to do with this nigga now because now I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna be either me or him. They gonna yeah, they gonna pull out. And I ain't gonna lie, the first at, at the at the first time they pull him out. So yeah. I'm on the wall like, yeah, I got away with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm good money. But the police, he know me because I was in the 1B already. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, wait a minute. He said, no, 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 no. Send him back and take him and put him in the box. So they came and got me. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the hearing on Rikers Island and beat it. Because my trick was, any anytime I go on Rikers Island, and this is for anybody that knows, anytime you go on Rikers Island, you know what I'm saying? And you got to sign some shit where, you, where, where it's a rule book. If you don't sign for that, you could stab and beat the shit out of as many niggas as you want to, and they can't do nothing to you. Mm. So they got yeah, mad. Yeah. They got mad because I put an Article 71. I went to Rick Court, 78. 78. Article 78, yeah. and they took everything off, and they sent me back to population, and I got away with it. Wow. So they gave me a new charge. So now I'm going to Bronx Court, you know what I'm saying? And it just so happened that while I'm going to Bronx Court for that new charge, mm -hmm. Then Magoo was with me one day in the bullpen, mm -hmm. and they brought an uh, informant down from upstate. Okay. So we in the bullpen next door. I'm like, yo, this nigga is telling somebody up north. That's why he's down here. And Magoo was like, yo, what you want to do? I'm like, yo, we going to eat this nigga. Fuck it. On the bus. He's like, yo, you want to eat this nigga on the bus? So we're going to eat this nigga on the bus. Fuck it. 
if the if they send the motherfucking police and they stop the bus on the highway, they it is what it is. But I don't think they're gonna stop the bus. I think they're gonna take us all the way to Rikers Island and then beat the shit out of us over there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he was like, all right, fuck it, then it is what it is. So we got on the bus and we ate him. Wop. He started leaking, he blood all <laughs> over me. Like nothing, right? I got blood on my face, I got blood on my shirt. They didn't stop the bus. Instead, the dude he had the gun on him, but he can't shoot through the um through the gate. So he looking, he's like, yo. I can't shoot this motherfucker through the gate because my bullet, I don't know where it's going to go. I might hit the females in the back or I might hit them in the front. So he's like, yo, y'all got to stop, stop. And he got the siren on. As long as he got the siren on, he could go through the toll booth and all that, the, the um, Verrazano, and go all the way to Rikers Island Street mm-hmm. without having to stop at all. And when we, once we got there, you know, we got our ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? The niggas jumped us. You know what I'm all right, so we, we heard we heard that story. Now, I want to hear the rest of the team story. Like, how'd you meet the rest of the, the, the fellas? You know what I'm saying? Me? If you remember. Yeah, I want, I want to know how, how you guys were. Uh, I, met, I met Kev through heart. Brownsville. Because okay. me and Kev from Brownsville. So before Blood, I'm, I was with him in the streets. Okay. So he was... He was a gun happy dude, fucking going to war with born son. Yeah, man, what's up? Turn that off, man. What you doing, man? Yeah, man. I'm got somebody in here do that, man. You fucking up the interference on the on the mic, man. Yeah. He got a family though. He got, he got a family. Yo, he got a family. Yeah. Yo, Killer was like, oh, pardon me, pardon me. Killer was like, got a couple um, of motherfucking states to go to when I finish this, man. In um, nineteen ninety. In the crack yeah. era, when crack was you. popping in Brownsville, mm-hmm. that's when I met Kev. Kev was um selling krills and shit. And toting guns and going to war with born son and shit, and then um he just disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Then I was like, damn, where this nigga went? Then heard about him banging on the island and shit. And he was a boxer, so his reputation was up from Brownsville. That's how I met Kev. Mm. How you met him? How you met Mel? I met Mel Cross on the bus coming from Southport. We was coming from Cross. <laughs> well, we was coming from Southport, man. We was coming out the box, going to another box, probably. Now we was coming, we was going to population, but that was at the time when um Brim and Stone went independent. Right, I gotta tell you that shit. <laughs> yeah, Let me tell you this shit. All right, so he he set this shit off with the shit he exposed Mac on. Shaquell carried it over. So when Mac left the when Mac left the state, he left a high five and a low five. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? He had five OGs on the top and five OGs five, on the bottom. Got it. Right, so it was ten OGs like on the top of of the UBN. Uh-huh. So those papers came. My big homie, well, my homie was TG, the one who, who got busy and everything. You know, splashed the captain for his hood. You know what I'm saying? I loved him because he's like, "Yo, we out of here." I I was scared, but then I knew I wanted to go because there's only thirty one of us mm-hmm. through the whole state. Everybody else was mad numbers. It was thousands of bloods, but BSV was only 31. So I was like, these niggas going to try to probably shoot us. I'm going to be shooting these niggas. I'm thinking they're going to flip on us. But the Brims was always with us. Like, we was always like, like, they was always, they was, I wasn't buzzers, yeah. We was always like buzzers. So when we was, we was banging, I don't know why I got like that, but Brims and Stone always had a vibe with each other. And G-Shine and non Trays always had a vibe with each other. So when then we separated, you feel me? When we separated, we went independent. It was like, I felt good, man. I felt like, cause I felt like I'm gonna be away from the politics and shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Let me, let, me, let me get bring some clarity on what he's saying. Um, you know, he spoke about, uh, you know, the shines and you know, whatever the case may be, right? But um, when Mac went home, first of all, Mac rap all hoods. You know what I'm saying? You know, whatever hood came out, you know, he thought of a concept, you know what I'm saying, explain how we going to throw it up, whatever came to me, and he gave it and passed it on to whoever he was, you know, whoever he felt, you know, could 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 run that hood or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, all that about dudes kicking him out, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, that never happened. But, you know, um, it was situations where, um, like, all right, I'm 5'9", you know, um, individual is, you know, he could be stone or whatever the case may be, right? Um, the stones actually went independent first because the situation was where once Mac went home and he figured that, all right, I want this person to run it how I run it, 
Everybody else came collectively and was like, nah, we don't want no one man rule. We don't want this, that, and the other. So in order for us in order for us to execute our plan, oh, certain great. people's gotta leave. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna question mark Disney, we're gonna question mark Is, you know, we're gonna question mark Ty Guns, we're gonna question mark Lacey, and those that was the names that was next in line for them positions to run them hoods or, you know, become that, you know, that individual, whatever, you know, um, dudes came together and was like, nah, well, we're going to give this, that, we're going to give this, that, and other, whatever, you know, we don't want no more one man rule or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Dictatorship came about. So dudes that was loyal to Mac said, you know what? And like me, be, me being from 183rd, a lot of Mac beefs fell on my shoulders. It actually fell on my shoulders. Because I was the link between Mac and him being in communication with a lot of the homies that was up north. I was that link. You know what I'm saying? Because when he went home, a lot of people flipped on him. That's when the telling everything or everything came up, whatever. When he was locked up, that was real silence. That wasn't really spoke about as much. So people knew that he told while, while in jail, but nah, nobody told I about didn't it? know. Nobody knew. Well, well, it, it was like this, right? Um, it, it was a situation where... CK, you know, um, read the paperwork, seen something like that, whatever the case may be, and he he made it known. He put it out there. Wait, before you continue, what is this? What two things I have a question about? First of all, what is OG Mac? Who is OG Mac accused of telling on? What's the story about that that he told? How long? Why did it take people so long to find out? All right, OG Mac oh, told on a guy named Don Q. Don Q from Don Q was a dude from the Bronx. You know okay. what I'm saying from around my way when they third, whatever. You know, um, make it long story be short. Um, he caught a body. Mac ain't had no knowledge of whatever the case may be. Whatever police wanted him, you know, Don Q, whatever they wanted for. Mm-hmm. Mac went with it. You know what I'm saying? And um, he basically told like, yeah, basically, you know, um, such and such did X Y Z. Or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So how, how how many years ago did he tell? Before he turned, did he, was it before he turned blood? Why he was blood? That or, was that was before. way before he turned blood. He he was like about 16, what 15, 16. 16? Yeah, he was, he was when that happened. Or some shit. Yeah, he, yeah, he 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 was a kid. He was a oh. kid. It wasn't like it wasn't, it wasn't like no and, adult and, shit. And he had no he he really had no knowledge of the situation that happened. But the po you know, the police coerced them, you know, to, into a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, he did what he did. It, it's no excuse for what so he, he did. So he told when he was sixteen. Yeah. Right. Got it. Now a situation happened, he starts blood, right? NYC. Right. right. The blood of NYC. When did the if the paperwork come out? How did CK get the paperwork? Well, the dude Don Q, you know, um, so Being to. locked up, whatever the case may be, you know, he got cool with a couple of people where he felt comfortable enough for like, well, yeah. let me get this out without no repercussions because you got to remember, Mac is a machine. Mac is the strongest thing moving right now. He got an army behind him. Whatever he say, whatever, that's where it's going to go. I'm, I'm going to keep it a thousand. Yeah, that, that that's point. just, that's just, this what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever Especially that man that said, that's what it's going to be. Do it, he was bro. the machine yeah, and whatever he said, that's what went. Yep. Mm. Bottom line, I don't care where you from, how gangster with this. This is the reality. This is what was going on. But he was a reasonable dude. He wasn't no aggressive like type of asshole. He was very, he's very intelligent, very intelligent. And um, he did it in a humble way. When he went home, is when everything, everybody started politicking. So he went home to where he in New York. Prior, yeah, right. Prior to one eight third in Davidson, prior in the Bronx, prior to him going home, you know. It might have been, you know, we know about CK, you know, putting it out there that, you know, Mac was X, Y, Z. But dudes ain't stand by CK. Yeah, man. Dudes saying that they kicked Mac out. So the why does CK go to he, with, with, go through what he went through by exposing Mac. what he knew? If dudes were standing by him, if dudes were these so-called super gangsters that kicked him out the whip. Right. He repped all hoods. And he was a GF for everything, bottom line. He sanctioned all the hoods. So, so if you kicked him out the whip, you know, if you kicked him out the whip, then, you know, 
<laughs> Got nothing. At all. So OG Man comes home. The, the, the story. That's comes. when. That's when. So th- then they got people st- started going ho- going strong about their history because at the end of the day, they want to promote their agenda. So to promote my agenda, to make my agenda more prominent than yours, I got to throw dirt on you. You know what I'm saying? To make people be like, oh shit, whatever. So that the that 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 the you know minimize the power you have and empowers me because now I got information and because, you know, I wanna make it seem like I'm the one that threw it out there and whatever the case may be. But when really in all actuality, the first person that ever said anything about that, Mac was still in the system with CK. CK no got happened. cut with it. CK got cut for it. Dudes try to fade him and do whatever dude. Dude was sending missiles at him and all that. And he had to hold his ground and he had to stand firm. You know what I'm saying? Dudes that saying they kicked him out. If Mac was wrong, why y'all ain't stand firm with CK? Yo, after after everything, after everything, after all that transpired, it became, we were so strong, it became psychological warfare after that. Like, it was politics after that. You want water? Thank you, bro. You ain't been smoking. So it became like a psychological warfare. Your your phone. Dudes was flipping on each other, like basically politicking and conjuring up stories on each other. And whoever had the heaviest influence was probably winning. Word. But they didn't know that. They didn't know that the the, the story was old with, with um with Mac. Yeah, they they. I mean, you gotta look at it like this. When you at the top. They always looking for something bad at you. I get you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I remember when I was just with DMX. I don't know if y'all was y'all know DMX. Mm. The rapper? Yeah. I was oh, just wow. with DMX. Me and DMX was watch in the, the mic. Watch the mic, Ken. Watch, yeah. I was just with DMX. Where at? Mm. In MD, M, MCC. Oh, he was locked up. Yeah, he was locked up. Before he went to do the year and a day or whatever they gave him, mm-hmm. he was with me. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I, DMX. All right, man. And I took care of DMX. But because of his stature, he had so much haters in there that they was trying to poison him. They was trying to get him to smoke K2 and all kinds of crazy shit while we was there. And I pulled him to the side like, yo, my nigga, listen, man, fuck these niggas, these pussy-ass niggas in here. Don't smoke nothing they give you. You want to smoke something? You want to smoke some bud? That, that's the feds, you. right? That was in the, the feds? feds, On yeah. 4th Avenue, 3rd Avenue? No, on... um. Pearl Street. Oh, yeah, in Manhattan. Yeah, it's a federal building, you know what I mean? So mm. we in there, and I looked out for son. He hugged me. He's like, yo, damn, my nigga, I never met somebody so real. You know what I'm saying? But that's the character that you carry, and that's the character that you try to resonate between other people. But if, you, if, if you're if you around that and, and, and you respect your leaders and you, you respect the people that has that, that stature, you, you kind of know what's, what's real and what's not real, so to speak. You know what I'm nah, saying? Not necessarily, man. Sometimes... The leaders became leaders by default. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because some some people became OGs because they was around the right people at the right time. Mm. Yeah, wait, yeah. Wait, yeah. That, that's that's that that's my my my. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. Like that's my biggest pet peeve. Me too. My biggest pet peeve is when niggas be like, "Yo, you know that nigga got money, and he could buy a hood, or that nigga got money and he could take care of all of us." You know what I'm saying? And my thing is like, yo. This is them about monetary expense, my nigga. This is about survival. This is about instinct. This is right. about pushing your shit forward and you becoming, like Genghis Khan. Can I ask a question? Genghis Khan? Khan built a Great Wall of China. Yeah, 31, cat. And you can see that 31. that shit from, Everybody in the, room. from the moon. I mean, 31 me, hold up. 